matchups are going to be a key today. A couple of them, we're not sure who's going to be matching up with whom. We know Katie Farrell's going to be jumping up with Deanna Gaston to start things off. Farrell swipes it away. Tiffany Bird says no. I think they said she hit it a couple of times. I think so, but she was just trying to win it. I mean, it was yeah. up in the air. It was up in the air, but it was swatted away, but Texas... We'll have possession of the basketball to get things underway. You know, not surprised that the Lady Raiders are starting in a zone here tonight, trying to keep Rory Harmon out of the paint from creating so much for her teammates. Ball tipped around, ends up into the hands of Texas. Sonia Morris gives it up. Harmon, no, left side. Two games last year, Texas Tech did a good job on Harmon. Gonzalez from the corner, no, rebound pulled away by Bray Amber Scott. Both coaches talked about the importance of rebounding in today's game. You already saw Texas is an explosive offensive rebounding team, and they've already got two in the first right. possession of the game. One of the things that the Texas Tech offense wanted to do is put the Texas defense in a blender. In other words, a lot of different screens. Here is Weitenheimer on the drive. Count it. It will go to the line. And I like that aggressive start from Tatum Beitenheimer. You know, you don't see her score very much. She's more of a pass-first point guard. But I like to see her aggressiveness from the tip of this game because they're going to need everybody to step up tonight. You can see the series history, the 109th meeting. They split the last two seasons. Tatum Beitenheimer had three points the last six games. She's got three points tonight. From the outside, the three off the mark by Morris. And it'll belong to Texas. Take a look at the Texas starting five. And this is the same starting five they've had for a number of games now. The last ten to be exact. Once again, they're having to play the rest of the season without Aaliyah Moore. She is out with an ACL. That is a big loss. The three, no. Texas still looking for their first field goal. Up ahead to Scott. Gains control. Got the two. I'll tell you what, that all started because... The Lady Raiders have forced Texas to take multiple threes already in this game. When Texas wants to score the ball in the paint, and so the long shots, long rebounds, they were able to get that out, and Bree Amber Scott streaking down the floor for a layup. Texas does not take a lot of threes as they get their first two of the ball game, about 13 and a half. They make five. As we take a look at the Tech starting five, Tatum Weitenheimer, she's going to get the start tonight. Bailey Moppin not available because of an ankle injury. Also, Ashley Chevalier also not going to be available tonight. Texas forces so many turnovers. They've got to stay calm and control against their defense and take care of the basketball. Vic Schaefer telling us yesterday, we have to take care of the ball. We have to execute. Deep in the corner, buried by Gonzalez. They did, and half the battle is just getting the ball inbounds right. against their pressure. And they had several different looks today working on that. Scott tries up and under, has it swatted away by Gaston. Her 18th block, Gonzalez on the layup. But they're going to live with some of those shots. That's just not Rory's game. Rory's better when she is penetrating and getting downhill and attacking the paint. Shaver's only 22% from three, hitting only four this year. Scott is hammered. Started her career at Mississippi State, and we chatted yesterday and again today, and she said Vic Schaefer means an awful lot to her. Right. She played well for him. He said she really stepped up for him at Mississippi State. Had to fill a void, and she did. Check into the lineup, number 11, number one, the senior out of Sydney, Australia. Here is Mohammed, the freshman from DeSoto. Last year at this time, she was having a successful career on her way to a state title and gets her first two. Texas Tech also tried to work on backdoor cuts. They thought they could get some of them today. Scott, little hesitation, lost it, got it back. Jones got a piece of it. Here comes Gonzalez out of Gilbert, Arizona, the BYU transfer. Into the corner. The deep three buried. Don't expect to see Rory Harmon go out very much in this ball game. Last couple of games, 40 minutes each. Here is Brent Gerlich. Gonzalez switches on her. Nice pass inside. Topeona with two. Ella's not going to miss two in a row around the basket, so I'm glad she got to redeem herself there on that one. Great pass by Bryn Garlick. Texas Tech was 0 for 9 shooting prior to that. The lead is 2. Inside Taylor Jones. 
and the smothering defense. There was an orange jersey on every white jersey. 14 times this year they've held an opponent to single digits in a quarter. Gonzalez gives it up. Morris buries the two. Texas has hit their last four field goal attempts. Farrell back in Morris down, gives it up. Freeling coming off her best game of the year against Kansas State. Hits the baseline jumper. Trying just to keep Texas from attacking and getting into the paint. Forcing them into outside shots, which is not what they want to do. Morris. Back it in. Katie Farrell pokes it into the hands of Scott. Scott's got to watch it. There's three on one. Takes it in. Doesn't matter. Got it. Great control finish there. Good job by Texas not fouling her because we all know Bree can get herself to the foul line. But good offense and just good swarming defense on the Lady Raiders' part. Final 24 seconds. Harmon. Into the corner. The deep two. No. Freeland comes up with it. Texas Tech should get the last shot. Up ahead, Beitenheimer. To Gerlich. Thought about the three. Throws it into the hands of Harmon, who looks up at the clock, lets it fly. Off the iron. Pretty exciting first ten minutes of the game. One quarter is in the books. Texas leading. Texas Tech still going with a lot of backups on the floor. Texas, a lot of their starters on the floor. Shot clock at 12. Here is Jasmine Schaefer's, the Big 12 freshman of the week for the third time. On the drive, got it. Gonzalez had a lot of the load on her. Mohammed to Gonzalez, the running right-hander. Tatum Beitenheimer doesn't usually get this much playing time this early on, at least the last couple of weeks. Right, but when you're out, Bailey Maupin, you're down, Chevalier, a good defender. And that was a problem last year for Gaston, getting in a little bit of foul problems when they play Texas Tech. Right, but then you've got Taylor Jones, you've got talented freshman Muhammad. <laughs> Bree Scott with the three, and the Lady Raiders take the lead by three. So she really does come in and do a good job for them. Harmon lost it. Plenty of time on the shot clock at 10. On the drive over Farrell's hand. No offensive rebound by Jones. And she is going to be fouled on the play. That's the tough part, right? Foul's going to be on Freeland. That'll be her first. At Oregon State, she averaged over 12 points and almost seven rebounds. Can't get either free throw to go down. Tech still holding out of the three-point advantage. Their biggest lead's been five. Texas has been six. And two more. And it's only her first. Harmon. Tech is following their defensive scouting plan beautifully tonight. They're doubling every time it goes into the post. They're playing Rory Harmon for the drive. Just when you step up, you're going to give up dump passes there at the end. And, and, and Harmon did such a great job because she had a little hesitation until she saw the defense move just about a foot. That's when she found Jones. Absolutely. And that's why she's averaging over seven assists exactly. in Big 12 play. Ten to shoot. Scott for three. Got it. Scott's got 14 of Texas Tech's 23 points. Again, just a little high ball screen. She waited for the hedge to retreat and was able to step back and hit a three. Jones, nice position, sees the double. Somehow they were able to get it inside to Mohammed. And they had a good drop there by Bryn Gerlich on the post diving. Bryn was there. They just were able to get it over her head. Mohammed out of Frisco, Texas. Career high 14 versus Rutgers earlier this season. Freeland inside. She's got it. And the foul. So right back at you, right? She practices like it's a game. 
and the legendary Jack Hartman, former head coach at Kansas State. That's why he liked players like Rolando Blackman, right. who played at Kansas State. For those of you under the age of 40, Google <laughs> Rolando Blackman, okay? <laughs> but he practiced the way he was going to play, and that's what Kyla Freeland does. She really does. You hear her talking in practice, which let me tell you right now, that is rare for a freshman to open their mouth and talk in practice, but you always hear Kyla. She's working. Harmon started 0 for 4, got her first field goal of the ball game. Lead cut to 5, 435 to play here in the opening half. Along with WNBA coach Brandy Poole, I'm Ron Thulin. Good to have you with us in a very windy Lubbock. That's redundant, isn't it? <laughs> Brent Gerlich, no, that's going to be an offensive foul. Corey Harmon's so good on inbounds passes. Up top to Gonzalez. Leads the team in points per game, but this is such a balanced Texas team as far as scoring goes. Harmon, quick move, dumps inside. Tough to stop. Offensive rebound, no, we've got a whistle. Again, Texas Tech's got to put bodies on people. That's a challenge when you're playing a zone. You've got to go find people to box out. When I asked her today, I said, so you're telling me for two years all of us mispronounced your name? And she says, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I did apologize. But nobody told us differently. After the miss, Texas retains possession. That's going to be a kick. Patty Five seems to have found herself, the junior out of Dakar, Senegal. In this Texas offense, she has meant so much to this team. She started all six Big 12 games so far. Into the corner, the three on the way, rattled home again by Gonzalez. The word on her is proven score. And here's Katie Phil running the offense. She's probably saying why she led UTA in assists for a couple of years. She is an outstanding passer. Weitenheimer saw a little bit of a crease. And they spent a lot of time on inbounds passes also. Shavers thought about it. <laughs> Shea Holly covered her up pretty quickly. This time gets it rejected. But the whistle and the foul. Her mom and dad, Chris and Camille, come to every home game. That's great. But they live in Mesquite, Texas. They make the five-plus-hour drive. They go, well, why don't you drive? I went, no. <laughs> I, I look for a flight to the grocery store. Harmon didn't play the first five games of the season because of the toe injury. Told us today, not a problem anymore. Nice move inside. Five gets it stuck. Possession arrow will belong to Texas. They will get it. Yeah, nice play. That, and it got stuck on the other side. That's, what, what the, the degree odds? of difficulty there is very high. Well, they get a fresh 20. Didn't take them long. Holly launches. Beitenheimer out of the pack. Boy, Shavers was running the floor so well. Scott inside, didn't get the call. Texas will have it. Here comes Harmon. Harmon already five assists in the ball game. Shavers with a pick. Got Scott on the left side. Takes it herself off balance. They're going to call that an offensive foul. Inside of 50 to play in the first half. Harmon, pretty pull-up jumper. Again, that's the respect they have for Harmon as a defender, though. They want other people bringing it up mm -hmm. just to get Harmon off of them for a second. Ten-second difference shot of the game clock. Scott lost it. It's going to be fouled on the play. We talk about it. There's no easy nights in the Big 12 for sure, but the Lady Raiders, all their home games so far. All right. Well, Krista Gerlich has a win over a top 25 team each in her first couple of years prior to this season. Of course, last year they beat number nine, Texas. That was in Austin, 74-61. The lead is three. Shot clock turned off for the Longhorns. Harmon sizes things up. Working on McKinney. Tough fall away. Doesn't get it. Rebound, Jazz Lewis, and that's the way the first half will come to an end. Well, we knew this game would be close. The last four games, have, for the majority of the time, have been close. Gaston will be playing and beginning the second half for Texas. Played only five minutes and 18 seconds in the first half. Picked up her second foul at the 840 mark. And they throw it away against the zone. Trying to get it into Gaston, which doesn't surprise me when Vic talks about wanting to have more of an inside present. It didn't surprise me that they were going to go into Gaston first play of the game. Tech spreads things out. Jumping out, it's going to be five, getting Gerlich. 
Morris right on top of Gurley. 15 to shoot. Bryn sees a little bit of an opening. Weitenheimer. Skip pass. Shavers for three. In and out. Carroll fights for it. Got it. Inside the Shavers. Nice pump fake. Up and under. Got it. Block, shot blockers. You and I have talked over the last two years. Sometimes make the simple play right. a pump fake. Yes. <laughs> Ty was surrounded by three white jerseys. Tech comes up with it. Two good defensive plays for Tech to start this half. Gonzalez now on Gerlich. Scott, long shot, buries the three. Scott's got 19 in the game. They have just been a little too loose on Briamber Scott at the. Shooting 50%. Harmon for three. Chases down her own rebound, but it'll belong to Tech. As mentioned, only 18 taken on the season from beyond the arc for Harmon. She's taken three tonight. Gerlich slips behind the defense. Another pump fake, another basket. So it's a 10-0 run. Tech is still looking for their first field goal made here in quarter number three. Tech has hit their last three field goal attempts here in the third. And they stay in that zone. Why would you change? It's exactly. been so effective. <laughs> Tough following. Gonzalez is such a great shooter. She is her and Morris. They have to find, though, in the zone. Big 12, Gonzalez averaging almost 15 a game. Whistle and a foul is going to be called. Already achieving 500 career points and 300 assists for her career this season. Don't see that happen very often from Bryn Gerlich. It no, already you missed. Really don't. Jones runs over Bryn Gerlich. Here's Holly for three, and she rolls it around for her 18th of the season. She is such a confident shooter. And then the steal. Nope. Katie Farrell kept it alive. in the ball game. Well, you know, she saw that Jones kind of made a move to come out to get her, and then when she saw that opening, she took it. Right. Here is Harmon, pull up from 17, and she's got it. Rory's got a half a dozen to go along with six assists tonight. Texas did a good job there screening the zone, ball screening the zone. Nobody was there to pick her up. Here is Farrell. Hand off to Gerlich, back to Tofe Ono, and she is going to be mugged by Jones. At the line, Ella Tofe Ono. Was in a boot for 15 weeks. Into the hands of Scott. Bounce pass, Bryn Gerlich can't finish the layup. Tofe Ono tries to hustle and get it. And it'll belong to Texas Tech. Yeah, like, okay. <laughs> we'll see, Bailey. She's, yeah, really. You know. I mean, I love that, but I, you know, we just she needs to be safe about it and get it healed up. And but I have no doubt the minute she's cleared to be back on the court, she will be. <laughs> uh, you know, this is a, a young lady that woke up like at five o'clock in the morning to make sure the cattle were fed. Shavers out front. No, Topeono thought she had the rebound. She is fouled from behind. So she is going to have to sit, and we still have 4.50 to play in the quarter. Let's check in with Ariel Schaefer. Coach Chrissy Gerlich pulled her team together and had three things. She wants them to continue defending the paint against Texas and really shut them out from driving, but also do the little things right, like boxing out, getting back in transition, but most importantly, to keep that energy up and feed off the crowd's energy. Absolutely. One of the main themes yesterday, focus and energy. Huge. Deep in the corner, no. McKinney can't come up with it. Harmon does out front. Harmon over Weitenheimer. Katie Farrell, not a good pass. Harmon with eight to shoot. Floats left, shoots right, got it. Just oh, that's tough. pretty. Just tough when she can get to her spot and get to her pull up. Harmon goes into double figures with 10. Tech smartly sewing it down, need a good execution, a good possession here. Scott inside, no. Katie Farrell swats it away. Gerlich had it, kept it alive. 
Freeland inside, gains control, and is going to be fouled on the play by Mohammed. I don't know how she caught that pass. Needs to get a little bit stronger and maybe some more game experience. But she's embraced her role. She's learning. Two minutes in the third. Harmon putting the team on her back. Offensive rebound. Gaston and the putback. <laughs> Gaston's first field goal. Gerlich, pump fake, left and land. Texas celebrated and Tech just got out and ran. Yeah, she tried to thread that needle. Morris launches the three. No. Beitenheimer will inbound. It's got to hurry. Freeland inside, and she is going to be fouled on the play. Right now, get him a little extra breather for some of these players that are playing a lot of minutes. Shavers, Bramber Scott, Bryn. Freeland with seven points and four boards tonight. <laughs> Mohammed left open baseline, makes him pay. Boy, what an outstanding looking freshman. Yeah, she has been really impressive. Her ability to rebound, to defend her athleticism. She's going to be a nice player for Texas. Nine seconds to play in the third. Harmon's got plenty of time with three. Up ahead, Gaston at the buzzer. Got it. What a play by Harmon to Gaston. That's tough right there. That's just a momentum sealer when you have a turnover that leads to points right at the end of a corner. Well, the free throws during Big 12 play, Texas opponents are taking eight more free throw attempts than the Longhorns. Right, and tonight Texas Tech has 14 more. Holly lets it fly from three. Tech will have it. Their first possession of the fourth. Your tech's got to continue to get out, contest them at the arc, but they're making them win or making them beat them and how they don't want to. They want to get into the paint. Shavers got it rejected, got the rebound, and put it back. And again, Tech staying in that zone defense. Gaston inside. They were able to just lob it to her behind the zone there. Good patience for her to go finish right around the rim. Gaston kind of quiet offensively, only six points. The three buried by Bryn Gerlich. Great offense there by the Lady Raiders. Bree Scott was trying to box out. Shavers battles, comes up with it. And she'll set it up with that six-point advantage. Eight to shoot. Shavers inside Scott. Nice little pump fake, can't finish. Farrell fights for it, taken wow. away by Mohammed. Fans didn't like it. The three, buried again by Morris. <laughs> Katie Farrell kept her dribble. Scott inside, battles, draws the contact. Texas has been called for 16 personal fouls to nine for Texas Tech. Scott now with 23 to go along with six boards. Make it 24. Again, five consecutive 20-plus point games for the senior out of Little Rock, Arkansas. The lead is five. Great defensive play on the backside there from Amber Scott as they're trying to get him into the post. Just a heady play. That is turnover number 14 for the Longhorns. Only five in the second half. Now, and Tech has done a really good job taking care of the basketball tonight. On top. Shavers, good look. And the three counted. 11 for Shavers. That got her daddy up out of his seat. I hadn't seen that all <laughs> night. <laughs> Beautiful execution, though, off the sideline by Texas Tech. Beautiful offense. Mohammed, no place to go. Morris over the outstretched hands of Gerlich and gets the bounce. Scott wants Shavers to move and she does. Freeland earned a lot of playing time tonight, lost the handle. Shavers got it. 
But they had Tech scrambling right. there. There was no need to foul that kind of foul there. Farrell did thread the needle, but Shavers lost the handle. Bryn Gerlich, nope, it was going to be a kick oh. off her leg. A lot of time left in this one. Pull up. Harmon over the outstretched hand of Katie Farrell. Every possession is just a battle right now. Who's going to stay sharp over the stretch? Freeland inside, sneaks in between the orange. And Coach Gorgeous Sharp is in attendance tonight. Softball coach Craig Snyder. And Coach Gurley mentioned to us in shoot around that everyone is supporting one another as she got a good luck text from head coach Joey McGuire. Scott on the drive, and she is going to get hit in the hip. She averages almost seven free throw attempts a game. Right, and shoots over 85%. Runs the show out front. Morris again. Three buries it. It's a big time shot by a veteran player, and who that's what she does. Shavers. Farrell. Shavers launches the three. Morris will track down the loose ball. We go inside of 250 to play in the game. Who's going to be able to get stops? Who's going to be able to get rebounds down the stretch of this game? Gaston works on Farrell. Foul's going to be called. And here is Deanna Gaston on a Pearland, Texas. Picked up two fouls in that opening half. Texas is led by six. Tech is led by ten. Scott. That rolled off two orange jerseys. Billy corrected it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that was good. Inside the Gerlich posting up on Harmon. Uses that left shoulder. They're going to call an offensive foul. Nevertheless, Texas has it. On top to Harmon. Katie Farrell with the steal. Three on two. Farrell up ahead. The freshman free line with the turnaround. Tough, tough finish. The volume just went up eight notches yeah. right now. Morris with that quick flick of the wrist. No, Gaston Ooh. the rebound. Uncontested, wide open. Farrell, the step through. Shavers off balance, and a blocking foul is going to be called. Possession arrow belongs to the Longhorns. <laughs> I think her mom just had a heart attack. Up have here. A all the exactly. Time. <laughs> Shavers gets them both. She's in double figures. Yep. Gaston on Farrell on the inside. They get it to her. Katie Farrell is going to just wrap her up. Good quick close out there. High hands yeah. to Sonia Morris. You've got to find her. Morris, again, the flick of the wrist. This time, no. Katie Farrell got it, called the timeout. Smart. That was a rebound they had to have. Katie Farrell will trigger it in to Scott. I like what they did. They put Bryn Gerlich way down. <laughs> Morris, they showed her the double. Harmon, nice ball fake, the three on the way, no. Rebound, Scott. Texas out of timeout. Gaston. Morris. Morris just wants to get some points. No, the offensive rebound and put back 
by Jones. And the good news is Tech will get it out at half court. They actually worked on these inbounds plays today. Scott. Like people just continue to foul her and center there and credit to her for staying aggressive and attacking the rim. Neither one, but the lead is still four. Here comes Harmon. Morris leans in, doesn't get the bounce, and that's going to do it. I mean, we this game was everything and more of what we thought it would be when we started this game tonight.